one. Yes, behind me you can see the Universal World Fountain. I'm currently at Universal Studios. Today is the second day that they are officially open. I can't believe that I'm here. I am so happy. And here's a red carpet just waiting for me to walk down it, you know, because I'm a star. and I actually got a new ticket which I actually prefer because the studio tours is my favorite ride so I'm actually pretty happy about it. Yay! It feels so weird to see it so empty. Oh no! A little pink car! I need that car in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running towards him. Scooby! Scooby! Say hi to me, please. Scooby! Hi! <laughs> Scooby Doo noticed that I was wearing the mystery machine sweatshirt. He was like, You're wearing me, and I'm like, Yes, I'm wearing you. I'm so happy. And we're in Springfield. Unfortunately, the Simpsons ride was not open because it does not meet with the social distancing guidelines. But you are able to walk around and enjoy everything that Springfield has to offer, so why not maybe a beer at Moe's Bar? Yeah, I, I need that beer though. Excuse me, my beer. On opening weekend, the park opened at 10 a.m., so we were pretty much there by 10. The first ride that we went into was the studio tour, and it had about a 40 minute wait. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Dominic Toretto. Are you getting goosebumps? Always. Yes. <laughs> We were lucky enough to have first row on almost every ride and it's actually pretty comfortable to be sitting on the studio tour and having the whole row for yourself. They only let in about three groups per cart, which was pretty awesome. In real life, when they were working on the movie, Dakota Fanning's characters hide out for the movie War of the Worlds. That is an actual plane destroyed specifically for this incredible scene. when the water started coming. I was expecting something like it's <laughs> like more chill or <laughs> not as spectacular. As yeah, that. the King Kong one when we started moving, I didn't even remember that, but it was very cool. I'm so glad that we went on it. First ride, check. And when you're going down to the lower lot, you can see the construction for Nintendo World, which is opening, I believe, somewhere around 2022. The Nintendo World in Japan opened at the beginning of the year, so if you want to have an idea of how it will look, be sure to check some videos or pictures of that. There's also some construction going on over by the Transformers queue, so maybe they will have an entrance over there. Who knows? I haven't been in this one. <gasps> Optimus Prime! How old are you turning today? 11. 
Excellent. in the Transformers game. I screamed way too much and we were on the first row so we saw everything super super close. Plus we have the 3D glasses on. Wow, I love that game. Since we were in the lower lot, we decided to have lunch at the Jurassic Cafe. Their dishes are supposed to resemble Costa Rica's famous dish, casados. And from what I had researched, they were supposed to have a vegan casado dish, but unfortunately they didn't. I don't think they have my vegan dish. I'm sad. So they didn't have the dish that I wanted, but they do have the Beyond Meat Burger. It actually comes with vegan cheese. No. I was kind of surprised, so I'm excited to eat this. And I got a lot of ketchup. Are we in your hometown? in your home country. Let's take the metro, everyone. They even have your songs. To the France. And this is Universal Studios' newest ride, The Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash. It did open a few days before opening day, right around the time of Taste of Universal, so they were trying out the ride, so it will be ready for opening weekend. I've actually never even seen Secret Life of Pets, but of course I had to get into the ride, right? Most of the queue for this ride is actually inside the building, but it's actually pretty crazy how much this queue actually looks like an apartment complex. So you can pretty much just sit in the pretend furniture if it's there. Oh yeah, I definitely need a back scratcher like that. Hi. I was pretty confused that that girl just called us puppies, but then when we got into the game, I got the concept of what it was and you're basically a puppy trying to get adopted during the game. My favorite thing about this ride was the face and body simulator where basically if you move or you do a facial expression, the puppy that's in front of you does it because it's basically you. So it was very fun to try and do different poses and have the puppies do them. Next on our list was Harry Potter World. I'm honestly still mesmerized every time I walk through this town of Universals. It's honestly surreal to see the Harry Potter world come to life. I couldn't really record anything from the game because they do make you put all of your belongings in a locker just for your safety. I'm not those type of people who can just record a fast going ride. I grab a good hold on my seat and don't let go. We're going into the Harry Potter world attraction. I'm so scared. I don't like this game at all. I honestly remember this game worse and it was so cool. I forget what I said. I'm so scared. I don't like this game at all. I liked it. Did you like it? A lot. She was like, whoa! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that baby. <laughs> We are going to go on the Jurassic World ride. 
It's 120 minutes. We've been here already for I don't know how long, but they closed the park in two hours and the line for the ride is two hours. So I guess this is the last thing that we're going to be on. It was no surprise that Jurassic World was going to be two hours of line, but actually we didn't even have to wait two hours. The line was only one hour long, which is actually pretty great. That's the longest line that we ever did in any of the rides. This was my first time riding the Jurassic World ride. I hadn't even written the old one before, so I was pretty excited, also a little bit scared because I know that the T-Rex comes out in the end and it's pretty big. Oh my god. <laughs> that last drop. Wow, I went like this. <laughs> Look that, how stupid it is. Yeah. But that T Rex at the end was so cool. It was so cool. And I know that they just put that new one in because I know that they had an old one and everybody complained that they didn't like it, so they just put this one in. Welcome but back. wow. As your boat enters the station, please raise your arms. Yep. Bye bye, Universal. See you. Who knows when? Bye. That's a wrap on Universal Studios. Yay! We made it. We came to opening weekend. It was great to be able to get on the ride. The park wasn't at full capacity, which is great, so there weren't a lot of people. It was comfortable enough to walk around, the lines weren't that long. So I had so much fun. In a month, we're going to Disneyland. So be sure to check that video out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe, do all of that jazz. And I'll see you guys soon when I upload that Disney video. Or sooner if you subscribe. Bye, because my mask is falling and I have to put my glasses on so I can hold it. Bye!